So it's very real that if you want to learn Spanish, it can be not easy, right? So I suppose that translates, no pun intended, into playing Latin styles of music on drums if you're not particularly Latin or Latin at all, or haven't been influenced by Latin culture at all. I suppose it's harder to go from like a rock-based paradigm to a Latin-based, and I'll say I, I agree with that, because I do speak decent Spanish, and it wasn't necessarily easy to uh, get clave down and all that, and it's, it's always a, it's a daily, weekly process to keep it up, just like, a, just like working out or something, right? I like to play the clave in my left foot, either with the hi-hat, you know, or I have a, I thought it was called a quijate bracket, but I guess it's just a mounting bracket where you're kicking a gok block or kicking a jam block that acts as clave, which, again, the clave was like, I guess, sticks that look like, kind of like this, but thicker, you know, you've probably seen a clave, right? And then I guess kind of palitos kind of have a relationship with clave in general in the early son and trova uh, musics of Cuba and Puerto Rico after like Zarzuela was coming over from Europe and all that and as charanga and all those things and danzon were becoming more hip much like you know jazz was becoming hip in North America and in the United States of America and much like you know funk eventually and all these other things everything gets more hip so long story short is the jam block kind of took the place of the clave a lot. Um, anyway, so what the hell, like, rhythms do you mainly need to know for Latin music? Well, it depends on what the hell Latin music you're talking about, because, you know, I guess, as Ed Uribe said in his book, Afro-Cuban Drum Set or something to that effect, and that's Ed, U-R-I-B-E, as he said, you know, a lot of gringos, if you will, consider everything south of, uh, the border to be Latin, and that's that's the one thing, it's all Mexican, right? It's all Latin, or it's all, you know, which is totally untrue. There's so many different, you know, styles and all that stuff. Like, if you see a, you know, a Chilean, and you're like, oh, he plays salsa, right? Probably that musician, he's, he's a musician, he's Chilean, right? Does he play salsa? Not necessarily. Puerto Rican musicians, Cuban musicians, damn right they play salsa for the most part, or usually can if I may stereotype a little bit there. And, uh, but uh, what, so let's talk about like when it comes to salsa, when, not Latin music, but salsa related Latin music, what rhythms do you need to know? So like, so the bongo player eventually drops the bongos and picks up a sencerro, C-E-N-C-E-R-R-O. And that basic beat is just kinda, it's either Notice on that one I went four, three, two, one. Or the opposite would be four, three, two, one. So essentially it's just going. But one of those, one of those, see how you're doing? Tap, 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 accent, tap, 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 tap. Usually one of those tap, taps, if you will, sequences gets just one tap. So tap, 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 tap. So the goal, what I'd like to do, um, for some reason I've developed the, you know, the right hand doing that. And then Long story short, you know, the timbali player, when he goes into a more chorus-like section, let's just, let's make it simple like and say that, it's usually something to the effect, the effect of four, three, two, one. So that'd be four, three, two, one. So I think, as a drum player, you want to be able to play both of those. So this is going ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong, ding, 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 dong, ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong, ding, 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 left hand is ding, 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 
Now, since I want to be able to play all the parts I can as a drummer on a drum set, and I'll probably need a, you know, a conga player or something, but you want to ideally know all the damn parts, so if you do have a conga player, you'd play this. If you don't have a conga player, you would play this. Or, you know, these. Or if you have a maraca player, don't double his pattern by doing a maraca pattern on the hi-hat. But if there's no maraca player, then that pattern isn't covered, so, you know, you can play that. Like, I went to the downtown Pritchard Park drum circle last night. They have Friday night drum circles until, like, 9.45 p.m. here in Asheville, North Carolina. And I noticed someone was playing the bell, and they were playing a particular pattern, so I'm not going to go hopefully anywhere, let alone near them, and just double their pattern. It's like it's already spoken for, so it's about knowing all these indigenous rhythms and getting in where you fit in, where it's not that polyrhythm or that, that instrument's r rhythm is not being represented, and then you play it. So what I like to do is I like to be able to play, you know, on my foot, with, this is the clave, so one, two, three, four, one, one, two, one, two, three, so this is two, three clave, because it's one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. So I'm going, of course I'd want to get that really ingrained. This takes a long, this takes years, right? But it, it can take less. So that's the sencero pattern, the bongo player's bell. Can you go? Assuming you're playing the clave on your foot, right? And then, not to make this weirder, but if you're playing it, you gotta be able to go. Like if you're playing a clave up here. When I do that, on the hi-hat, I just do one and three, like. Or to like, it, it actually ends up mimicking the, the shekere on the left foot clave, or you could do it on the one, on the one only. As you can see, this is wild and crazy. Now, to make it even more crazy, the bombo. One, two, and. One, two, and. One, two, and. On the end of two is usually your typical bombo or bass. And maybe not every bar, maybe one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one. So imagine going. So I'm doing the left foot shaker day, if you will, on one and three. See? But I gotta go. So you, as you can see, this is not something you just do quickly, you know? And then I guess the original meaning of this video that I was going to do today is a lesser played um, right and left hand salsa bell combination that does totally occur in salsa, but I don't practice it a lot, so I personally felt like practicing it a lot. Instead of going, and again, this can be done in different ways. I prefer the bongo bell, the sencero, in the right hand, and the timbali bell in the left. Assuming there's no other guy playing a bell, you know, like you don't want to do that if there's already someone doing the timbali bell, for example. And uh, just like jazz, you know, there's variations to like the tim, you might be like, I mean, there's no, you, there's no one to say that you can't do that for a timbali bell pattern, but like, you just gotta listen to different music and, oh, I like that song, I like how the, that grooves, oh, what the hell is the timbali player playing in that song? Oh, I'm gonna develop that in my style. So, for example, that thought process. But like, oh yeah, the pattern that I was wanting to practice more of today that I don't do enough is sometimes you just got the bongo bell just kind of just rocking out. They just are just loud and, so instead of going, 
you just got but you might still want to be able to do the the timbali bell for example for example you know what i mean so like this video, like this channel, like all of this, as every paper I have, including the real book, goes onto the floor. Cool, cool. Got a cool Bossa Nova guitar book, coincidentally, right there. But anyway, yeah. I'd love for you to subscribe. I'd love for you to comment and all that good stuff. And most importantly, don't worship me at all. Worship the patterns and notice how other people are playing them as well. Notice if you think people are doing it differently than me that you think is better, you know? Don't believe a word I say, although, you know, you might want to. <laughs> and uh, keep having discretion and critical thinking, and for God's sake, please keep practicing every day. And checking yourself before you wreck yourself, because you don't want to be practicing too much stuff that isn't useful. But you don't want to get to the point where you're not your main drummer or musician either it's a it's a fine art all right